Hi, and welcome to Gen Friends. I'm Sherry Hudson Passy, your host for tonight. And I know I'm a little fuzzy, tech issues, so sorry about that. Well, as long as you can hear me, I guess we're okay. Um, on the panel tonight, we have Terry O'Connell from the In-Depth Genealogist. Hi, Terry. Hey, Sherry, how are you? I'm great, I can see you clear. <laughs> so it's obviously on my end. And we also have the archive lady, lady Melissa Barkers, with us tonight. Hi, Melissa. Hi, so glad to be here. I'm glad you're here too. Well, what we're going to be talking about tonight is Finding Your Roots, the very first episode of the season. And it was really interesting. We had some DNA stories that, that kind of show you that DNA can either lead you down a happy path or mm. down a path you were not expecting. And I think we've all warned people about that. I know we, I had a uh, a genealogy club meeting on Saturday and somebody asked about that very thing. You know, I know some people are scared to do gene genealogy and then people started raising their hands saying, well, <laughs> um, it's because sometimes when you do your DNA, you know, you find things you don't want to hear. So we had two family mysteries that, um, well, one was solved and one was made worse. <laughs> so it's pretty much, you know. I think it was one was solved and one made things a little bit more understandable. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, that's yeah, that's a that's a good point. That's a point. Yeah, yeah, made it more understandable, but there's still a big gaping hole. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so let's let's start with um, uh, George R R. Um, is it Martin? Martin. Martin. He, um, Martin. for those of you that watch Game of Thrones, I, I've never watched it. So <laughs> Me I, neither. I, I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> I never care who they are because their stories are always so interesting. Right. But he, um, he really wanted to find out uh, more about his, uh, his grandfather, his paternal grandfather, because he didn't know much about him. All he knew was that his grandparents divorced well not legally divorced his his uh grandfather left his grandmother grace and he was very close to grace but he didn't know much about this grandfather and he wanted to know why he would leave her why he had a second family and, and what was going on there and he knew the relationship with his father and grandfather weren't all that great and so that's that's what he wanted to do um, want to yeah, uh, th there's so uh, whoever's <laughs> watching this recording, there's spoil alerts if you haven't watched the show yet. Exactly. <laughs> yes. And so, but you know, um, my to me, what fascinated me, and I'm hearing I'm hearing this more and more, and I don't know if it's because we have the DNA now and secrets can't be held anymore, but you know, his grandfather had a whole second family that his first family knew about. Correct. Correct. Yes. Mm -hmm. They Correct. knew about it. Yes. yes. And, and I'm not saying that they were all nicey nicey about it, but you know, it's just, I, I don't know. I've been, I've been hearing a lot of this kind of thing lately and, and that it, you know, it was it's just what it was. But when you know at the end what happens and then you hear them say that the grandfather and his son didn't have a good relationship and all this that happened, it, it really makes sense in the end in, in the a end, way. Yeah. But you know, I think but he remembered his grandfather. He remembered yes. his grandfather on a couple of times. He said, that he, remember, he talked about his grandfather would was throwing him up in the air, and he didn't like that. Right, it right. scared him. So he remembered yes. his grandfather. I think, Melissa, you're right. We are hearing a lot of those kind of stories, but I think because divorce wasn't allowed in a lot of states. Mm -hmm. I mean, South Carolina, it was um, in the 50s before you could get a legal divorce. You had to wow. go somewhere else. And so if people didn't want to jump through the hoops or, or couldn't afford to go somewhere else, they just left and started another family. I have got um, people on my tree that their census records will say divorced. Well, they were never divorced, you know, or that the woman was a widow, but he's still very much alive. Right, he's two pages over in the census. <laughs> exactly. So I think, I think that's where a lot of that happens is because they couldn't get a divorce or so frowned upon. And he talked about that too, is her Catholic upbringing, she would not, you know, go for the divorce. And so, you know, the family story was he ran off with a younger woman and he finds out that actually when the, the younger woman didn't know anything about the previous family. And when she found out, 
she forbade him mm -hmm. <laughs> to go see the previous family. That okay. breaks my heart the most yes. out of this story is these women yeah. who refuse to let their new man basically go and keep contact with their children. At least it's their children. Mm -hmm. At least their children. Oh, sad. That is very, very sad. And you could see why um, his son, his father and the grandfather didn't have a good relationship knowing that what, like you weren't, it was almost like you weren't good enough. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. You weren't, yeah. Well, absolutely. yeah. Well, you think about the mentality of it. You have a family and then you go make another family. And then the son think, you know, well, what was wrong with this family? Why did you have to go make another family? It's just, you know, right. that whole myth, mentally thing that's going to go on, but it's going to really mess you up. <laughs> right. And Absolutely. So one family lived uptown, one family lived downtown. So he wasn't mm -hmm. even that far away from each family, but. You know. And he, he, his second family was more well to do mm -hmm. than his first family. And don't you imagine there was a lot of feelings there as well. Of course. How could there not be resentment? Mom mm -hmm. had to scrimp and save to just feed mm -hmm. us. And you're over there living high on the hog. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So the one claim to fame that he was saying that he had, though, was that this grandfather was from Italy and he had this Italian blood and that he was an immigrant <laughs> from, from Italy. So they decided, OK, let's do a DNA test. Let's let's see what's going on here with DNA. Let's get you to spit and, <laughs> and let's see what happens. And, you know, like we say, when you spit or you swab, <laughs> you just you know, for any you better be ready be prepared. And what was so interesting is, you know, Henry Louis Gates starts taking him through. He says, turn the page and look at your admixture. Mm -hmm. Look at, <laughs> look at what's in there. Is there, is there a lot of red? <laughs> you yeah. know, or not. <laughs> yeah. And there certainly was no Italian. <laughs> and let's, let's talk that they, um, they didn't do just his DNA. They did DNA of someone who should have been a cousin off the second family. Yes, exactly. Yes. And that's why there was no matching red. They did not connect they at did all. Did not connect. Right. Absolutely. And so w when he looked at it, he could see that there was no Italian. What there was was Jewish. He had 22, 25, something like that percent Jewish. And mm -hmm. that would mean that would come from his paternal grandfather. <laughs> and so, dun dun dun. <laughs> Big reveal. He was not the grandfather, yeah. and so that makes a lot of sense. And so then the question was, then who cheated on who? If your right, father, exactly. If your Did he father, leave before? Well, I mean, obviously he left after this child was born. So, did he know? Did he leave because she cheated? Yeah, did right. he, or did he find out somehow? I thought it was interesting that they brought up the picture, the sibling picture, and they 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 showed, they showed the differences, the, the differences in their hair coloring and their skin coloring. Yes. How the sister who was the the daughter of you know this grandfather um, was so dark. You know, I wonder, I wondered if he, you know, how he much he talked about his grandmother. He was so close to his grandmother Grace and stuff. And, you know, I can actually see because it, it happened a little bit with me, not on the scale, but your grandparents, you love them, you cherish them, you look up to them. They would not lie to you. <laughs> never. <laughs> and so, but my grandmother, who would never have told a lie her whole life, which I know better, but anyway, she just never was. She was one of those people you put on a pedestal. She lied about her age to get married. And when I found that I could, I mean, even as I, was, you know, I just found it just a few years ago, I thought, I can't believe she did that to me. You know, you just, it's, it's so personal, but you know, you have to put everything in perspective, look at it. And you could see on his face that he was really having a hard time as he was, as he was coming to that realization, he was putting all the pieces together in his mind and then going, Oh wait, she, you know, did something with somebody else. And yeah. she, I think he really had her on that pedestal and it was difficult. I think so too. I think it's got to be difficult finding this out and, and being recorded and, you know, you know, it's going to be on national TV. Hopefully mm -hmm. most, of, you know, I don't know. Cause he did say, I wish some of the players in the story were still alive so I could go talk to them. So maybe he felt okay airing this because they weren't around to be embarrassed by the story, right. you know? Um, 
but and they and they were saying that they tried um, CC tried to do the DNA to see if they could connect and figure out who his biological father was. And at this point, they couldn't, but they were going to continue to work on it for him to see if they could they could find something. And what I thought was so sad with his story at the end was when he was presented with his family tree. There was just this question mark and gap. Yeah, on I know. The paternal side, and I thought, oh, that's really sad. It is. <laughs> Just a big hole once he had all this and he was so happy, you know, with the Italian. Yeah, and he goes, But I like Italian food. <laughs> <laughs> so Yeah, no. Yeah, one of those one of those um watch what you're doing when you are, you know, going down that whether it's a paper trail, I mean the paper trail can do that to you, but the DNA is really doing it more and more and really shocking people. Well, there's, there, you know, and it, it's, there is so, so much that is not on a piece of paper that happens yes. that we just are, we just literally just not going to find it. Mm -hmm. And so the DNA um, is actually bringing a tremendous amount of that out. It's true. And that is while true. it's helping us as genealogists, I do wonder what it will do because there are people out there that aren't genealogists that are, it's a huge thing. Yes. You know, it's like actually a huge thing among college students. I have a, uh, my husband's brother, which that's a long story, um, is uh, starting to ask questions. And so and he's in college. And I wonder if it's prevalent in that generation now. And so these secrets that are not so long ago are going to be coming to the surface. They're getting answered. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's yeah, things, um, things that people didn't particularly want to know, you know. Or, or, or didn't know out. that they were, yeah, that there was any question. Yeah. But, you know, I felt sorry for him because, you know, he wanted to find out about that grandfather because he thought that was his blood, that was his family. And to kind of find out that it wasn't at all. He, now he's, he can get his question answered. And not only that, but now he's got a huge mystery. Now he's got more questions. More questions. Yes. It'll be interesting if they should find something, if they'll do a follow-up with him and, and let yeah. him know and let us know what they found. Well, let's move on. Wait, really quick. Before oh, go ahead. We move on, mm -hmm. It's important that we share. Um, I did read this because I there was a lot of talk on social media about this episode just because of how outstanding it really was. Um, and for like George's story, um, people were talking about, do you think that they kind of, told him nicely before they started record, recording, you know, uh, like, or did they just bombard him on TV? They do not tell you beforehand. We're, what we see, it's all happened live. You know, it's just them cutting and splitting and putting it all together. Mm -hmm. But they do not tell him, be anybody beforehand. And I guess, I mean, do they have in their contract, I don't want you to air this? I mean, I don't know. I mean, other people I don't have. Think <laughs> Since that whole quote unquote Batman issue, uh -huh. uh, I don't think there's, you don't have a choice. It's, you don't have any choice anymore. You've signed yeah. up, you understand yeah. it. You're not going to know what's coming out of that deal. Right. And, and, and you don't know if it's going to be good or bad. So just mm -hmm. take, take whatever you get. So when well, you think about it, the big, you think about it at the beginning of them doing this whole process, if you don't, if there's not something signed saying what we get is what we get, because you would end up with none of these celebrities being on there. If they found all these different secrets and stuff and they mm -hmm. said, oh, no, nope, can't do that. Well, then they wouldn't have a show. Right. That's true. That's true. Right. So that's true. Yeah. Oh, goodness. I just can't even imagine <laughs> how, how difficult that would be. Well, we'll move on to the other story because it has a little bit of a better happy. We'll leave, we'll leave with the happy ending. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and, oh, but, um, but still yeah. created a lot of questions. Yes. It yes. Yeah. So Andy uh, Sandberg, who is a um, comedian, came on because he wanted, I guess they, you know, he, they asked him and he said, I thought about it because my mom was adopted and mm -hmm. she has, she has looked for years and couldn't find anything. I just, I don't know how she would feel about this. So he, he said, he called his mom and said, you decide. And it was just within minutes. She called him back and said, okay, let's do this. And it's important to note that he, because he's a private person, it wasn't that he just didn't want to do it. He's a private mm -hmm. person all the way around and doesn't want to share any of that. And because his mom wanting to know about her bi biology, basically, mm -hmm. that is the only reason he went forward. Exactly. And what, 
I'm grateful that they did this because it was such a story. It's such a story. It's such a story. And how fun that the little clues, little tiny clues that they got enable them to find the answers. And and the first clues came from that non-identifying information that they got for the birth mother. I thought, why, why wouldn't you have Googled that on your own? And, you know, there, Google knows everything. I, I, probably lack of experience, maybe. So the first clue was know. that there was the father's sister was a well-to-do singer in India of she was a German Jew, German mm -hmm. Jewish in India yes. singing. Mm -hmm. Well, the very first thing though from the non-identifying was they had an age and that she was Jewish and that she was from Germany. I mean, so at least they got that right. foundation. And then the second piece of information she got talked about the grandfather coming with the three girls, his, you know, immigrating. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, you're right. Why didn't they Google the names? <laughs> As they got, I mean, they could have googled like German German Jewish singer in India. Yeah, I mean, there's not going right? to be that many. <laughs> right. There was only the one, exactly. Oh, yeah. As you would expect, <laughs> there would only be the one. So, I mean, just that in itself was fun. Seeing her name in the papers and all that kind of stuff, you know, and then um, being able to see the the immigration and being able to fit the clue that um, his grandmother was 22 when she came over. And so of the three girls that immigrated, mm -hmm. there was one that was 22. So theory was then Ellen is your mom. Of course, you know, they had to do more work. They couldn't mm -hmm. just say, right. okay, we've got this immigration record. The names mm -hmm. match, you know, it, this must be. And the girls were very close in age that it really could have been any of them. That's true. This is true. You know, they were, a, yeah. I think, a year apart. Yeah, they were. They were very close. So what they did was they tested the DNA, tested the uh, direct um, ancestor, uh, excuse me, the direct descendant of one of the sisters, and that proved to be a match. And so they knew they had the right family. So then they had to, you know, well, they found her name and they found a picture of her. And so he was able to show his mom the picture of her, of her mm -hmm. mom which I thought was very touching that, that he was able to show his mom that photo. And that was the first photo she'd ever seen, of course, of her mom. There, um, I was reading that as they were airing, mom was in another section of the house behind like a curtain. So she got to see it as they were, you know, up on screen. Oh, really? Oh, wow. Wow. She just cried because it was like, you know, that first, like, oh my God, that's my mother. Wow. Because uh, he said, because he even said, he said, I can't wait to show this to my mom. Yeah. So she saw it. Behind it funny. Yeah. Oh. Amazing. Oh, that is amazing. So it was good to know she was there for the taping. Yes. She was yeah. it all out as he did, just yes. behind him, basically, or in front of him or whatever, behind a curtain. <laughs> so then they, they would go to step two. They have the mom. Now they're going to start looking for who's the daddy. <laughs> So this is where they said Cece came in and did a lot of work on that, where she was able to discover that um, through the through the DNA, he was related to a whole bunch of families in Sicily. Did you guys? They, did that, they found that out by the DNA. Yeah, yeah. the DNA. That's what I mean. The yeah. DNA. Um, they were able to trace um, his line mm -hmm. to a whole bunch of families in Sicily, and then they were able to pinpoint a last name <laughs> mm -hmm. and then bring them all forward and then bring them forward yes. to the United States. And then it was like, okay, but how, why she didn't live anywhere near California. Right. He's in California. Then they discover she's worked. She, well, she was studying in Ber at Berkeley. Mm -hmm. So wait a minute. She's at Berkeley. Where is he? He's at the base, <laughs> right. was, you know, he's in the military. He's at the base. And then they discover that they both were taking art classes. She was mm -hmm. teaching and he was taking an art class. Now, whether she was teaching his art classes, we don't know, but that's probably most likely how they met. That's where they most likely they met. kind of made that impression that he yeah. may have. May have, right, yeah. right. Well, it's interesting because um, 
there was a little blurb about the school history of the school and it named her as a teacher, which I thought was really cool. Amazing. <laughs> And this is why we do research in school records and even college records. Exactly. Yeah, sorry, I had to add that. It, well, you're it's so true, you're though. so right, and and you've also got to when you think you've got mom, dad, this must be them. You've got to prove that they were in the same place at the same time, so this could occur. Yeah. <laughs> and, so, <laughs> and so they were able to do that. They were able to prove. You know, mm -hmm. that they were at the same place at the same time. But what was really cool, too, through the DNA on the father's side is it turned out that his mom had step um, yeah. siblings. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Step brothers. And they were able to go meet. Half. We have to. I'm, I'm, half. Yeah, I'm sorry. Half, half brothers. Not step brothers. <laughs> yeah. Half brothers. Oh, see, I'm so fuzzy. I can't. <laughs> I can't. Yeah. Half, half brothers. You're absolutely right. Half brothers. Yeah. So um, they go to meet. These half brothers. Wait, wait, wait. Brothers. Even before they go, okay. they, they, okay. had, they had him turn the page, and there's the picture of the father. That's right. And, oh my God, the yes. striking resemblance yes. to him. He looked just like him, didn't he? And he didn't yeah. even say anything. And I was like, oh my God, it's like he could be there's, the son. <laughs> there's no doubt. You didn't yeah, have to, you amazing. know, no doubt at all. And he was like, oh yeah, he's rocking the glasses. It was just really funny that he. He was, he was, um, you could tell that he was really excited about this, but of course the comedian in him to overcome the emotions, mm -hmm. he had to crack I jokes. Had he had to crack jokes. So, um, you're right. They did show him the picture. Um, then they go and they meet the family and they were giving them pictures and all sorts of family stories. And there was one special picture. That they were mm -hmm. able to give. Does either one of you want to talk about that? The special so the, picture? The picture was a date. It was like, it gave me chills. Yeah. So it was like a double date and it was the mother's parents. So there is, you know, good looking dad looking mm -hmm. just like Andy and mom looking the same as her other picture and another couple. Yes. The family had this photo and, you know, they kept it all these years. They had no clue why. They had no clue who the other people are in it. But they kept not even the, not even the woman, not even her mother. They didn't yeah. know who she was. They didn't know. It just they knew that it was yeah. their dad. And yeah. that he kept it. That he kept it. And then they yeah. kept it. The but, fact is, he kept it. So it gave me shivers, and I just want to know why did he keep it? Why did he keep it? Did he? Why did he keep it? Was it something about her? Did he know about the baby? You know, everybody's. I, I've read that they don't think that he knew about the baby, but I just there's something in me that says, oh, he knew. He yeah. knew. Yeah. And he just didn't, he was never. Why would, you, why would you keep that all those years? Unless I mean, he was just, just, maybe that was his first real love and it maybe. didn't work out. And <laughs> he pined for her all these years. I don't know. It mm -hmm. just, yeah, there was something about that, that photo. There's just, I mean, to have that when you find out, you know, who your biological parents are and to have them in a photo together like that. Mm -hmm. Just you're right. It was just chills. I know that everybody watching it was just going, "What? <laughs> <laughs> what?" Mm -hmm. That that was amazing. He also he also got a photo. They gave him a document of of um, his father's parents. Um, I mean, his father. Yes, his grandfather's parents <laughs> and their marriage record in Sicily. And they were yes. they had, they got the, their picture. And what a cute little couple they were. I loved mm -hmm. that picture. They were all smiley, and yeah. that was great that they went back another generation for him on that side in Sicily. I thought that was really great. So, so you know, that just went up to his great great grandparents. So, a great Isn't amazing great that grandparents. He, she always wanted to know, and now she has this large family. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they just accepted her and, and, and brought them in and enveloped them into their family. Exactly. That was fabulous. That was fabulous. Can you imagine? Can you imagine getting this phone call and, you know, mm -hmm. you find out who you're related to and then you find out it's somebody famous like that? It's got to be so, kind of, you know, kind of awkward. <laughs> I don't know. Well, there was, to me, there was an absolutely huge question that they didn't answer that I don't know that they could have answered, but it just hung over me after everything was why did she give up the baby? Maybe it was obvious to a lot of people, but to me, I'm just like, why didn't they even address that? But I think they did. I think they made comments about it. it was the time frame. It wasn't proper for women to be having these babies. I well, mean, yeah. The time that they're, the, this is the time when they're sending them to the, the, um, 
unwed mothers' homes to have their babies and give them up for adoption. So yeah, and, I, and I wonder I, how I don't remember him saying anything, but maybe they did. And I wonder how long he was there and if he shipped out or if he was sent someplace else. And maybe she didn't ever tell him. Maybe. You know? Maybe. We'll never know. You know, why didn't they get married? You know, that was my thought. Here they are on this date. Why didn't they get married? <laughs> I don't know what happened. So it's too bad that he didn't keep a journal. <laughs> she didn't keep I know, right? yeah. some journal to let us know because we have questions we want answered. And you know, I wonder, I wonder if that in that time frame too, when we don't know 100%, but if she was the teacher and he was a student, maybe it was to give school rules. Ooh. But that's they a good point. associate with each other. That right, because she went back to New York and had the baby. She didn't have the baby in California. Yeah, no. Yeah. Ah. So there is there's a still, good you know, there's still that. more to that story that Mike could be dug up. Maybe not, but I still yeah. say there's probably some more. Maybe. That's I agree. I wonder if I wonder if the family knew his family knew didn't necessarily, I don't know knew any other tidbits that maybe they did the information that they had, they didn't know that it had to do with this or, you know what I'm trying to say? Mm -hmm. Once they get to talking, maybe they'll say something and they'll go, Oh, well that's why this, or that's mm -hmm. why that, you know, mm -hmm. very well possibly be mm -hmm. either, either hers or his one of the two yeah. you may start to say, wait you know, a some, second. Sometimes yourself and as a genealogist, when you're researching and you have all these questions and you get a piece of information or a document or something. You're like, oh, okay, okay. And it's like, well, I've got questions about this. Well, you keep going and you might find something else that actually maybe explains the other thing that you had. And then, mm -hmm. oh, now I understand why That's this so is true. This. That's so true. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, it's like they, they told the first guy, they said, you know, you, you're seeing things in different eyes now, different. Right. You're yes. viewing the story in a different way now because of the information that you have. And so it's true. Every piece of information we get adds another piece, another piece to the puzzle and can help us move forward. Sometimes it just gets us more stuck than we were before, but hopefully that next piece will help us move forward and find the rest of the story. So does anybody have anything else they want to add about this was a great beginning. It was a great I hope they're all going to be this good. Absolutely. <laughs> um, we just want to give a shout out to Cece who got her first producer's credits on this episode. Yes. She's yes. not yes. only doing the genetic genealogy, she's really getting in there and working. Yes. That's yes. Great. So excited for her. Yes, me too. We're, we are happy for you, Cece. We're great. We're, gla we're glad. Well, oh, see, I'm fuzzy and I can't talk tonight. We are grateful that you got that shout out and it was wonderful to see your name. And we are grateful for the hard work you do yeah. on the show and, and the other the other DNA work that you do. We're grateful for that. So with that, I guess we will wrap it up for this time and we will see you next time on Gen Friends. Thanks for joining us, everybody. Bye. Bye-bye.